Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do my July favorites. I know everybody says this, but where has the year gone? I feel like I just did my June favorites. So yeah, I wasn't ready. And I don't really have a lot this month because I've been basically using a lot of the same stuff I had in my June favorites still. Um, don't mind my makeup today. I want it to be a little crazy. So I did some unicorn eyes is what I'm calling it. Um, I was going through like my makeup palettes and found my electric palette and I was like, ooh, colors, glitter. I want to play. So I played. But anyway, and if I'm talking a little funny, which I probably am, it's because my teeth hurt so freaking bad i went to the orthodontist yesterday and they did like some aggressive tightening on these front teeth here to close the gaps so that they're closed um in time for my surgical impressions if you don't know what i'm talking about i've done a couple videos if you want to go check them out um regarding my surgery and orthodontic treatment but yeah, basically by the time I got home, my gaps in the front were nearly closed. It hurts really bad and um, it's hard to talk. So if I stutter or have a lisp, I'm really sorry because I'm in pain. But anyway, if you want to see what my favorites were for the month of July, then keep watching. Okay, starting off, like I said, I don't have a lot, so I'm going to move rather quickly. This isn't going to be like my usual 30 minute long favorites. Um, but one is this adorable little mirror I got from Tarte. I don't want to blind you, but um, I got it from Tarte Cosmetics. It's rose gold. It's adorable. Um, I like to use it, you know, when I'm doing my makeup, obviously, handheld mirrors. Um, I was using like little compacts that you have to hold and just a good old fashioned hand mirror is awesome. So um, I've really been loving this. I've been using it a lot. Super cute. Um, I'm pretty sure it's still for sale in the Tarte website or on the Tarte website. I got this for free if you bought their um, Tartist mascara. So yeah, super cute and loving it. Um, next is, this is like the new thing on YouTube and there's a reason why. If you have dry to normal skin, you're going to love this. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. It took me freaking forever, forever to find this foundation. I finally did. It was really picked through, so... Um, I don't know if I have the right shade. I have it in 205. I almost think I need one shade darker, but it's working. Um, next is these lashes from Velour. They are the Carly Lash. I have been wearing these nonstop. If you've seen any pictures of me on Instagram or even right now, I am wearing the Carly Lash. I think if you have hooded eyes, they are perfect they elongate the eye they pull it up and um they're they're not too overpowering and i really been enjoying them they are basically wispies but they're shorter in the inner corner and flare out which gives you this nice lifted cat eye look and if you have hooded eyes like i do i think you'd really enjoy these so definitely a favorite um let me show you It is storming so bad. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the rain is like no joke. Probably shouldn't have all this electrical equipment on, just saying, but YOLO, right? Right. Is it a freaking tornado? Okay, it slowed up a little bit now as it continues to pour even harder as I say Okay, that. next I have the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in number three, Camel. I totally forgot I had this. My husband just bought this for me um, earlier this year. He went to one of those like makeup outlet things and they had this 
and I'm so excited. I've been looking for this everywhere. It's a beautiful shade. It's like that ugly mustard brown shade that looks disgusting. Oh my god, and it's so pigmented. It's like butter. Um, but here it is right here. It's just beautiful, and I love, love, love blending it into the crease. And blowing it out I think it makes any eye color stand out I think warm uh, brown eyes it looks beautiful on green eyes blue eyes it just makes any eye color pop so if you can get your hands on the Bobbi Brown um, what did I say this was camel eyeshadow definitely do it it's amazing I have glitter all over the place it's like the herpes of makeup <laughs> It just keeps coming. Next, I got this as like a deluxe sample from Sephora and it's the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. And I ran out of my Urban Decay um, All Nighter Setting Spray, so I've been using this. And I, I really like it. I think it does the trick. It sets the makeup. It mattifies you, which is perfect for the summertime. And recently I was just in a wedding and I wanted to test out my makeup to see if it would be waterproof, sweatproof because it was a wedding slash pool party. It was the best wedding I've ever been to. And I knew that for pictures, the bridal party was going to be jumping in the pool with our dresses on and all that. So I wanted to see how well my makeup stood up. And let me tell you, my lashes were on after jumping in the pool like six times and four hours later I didn't get home till like 2 a.m. my lashes were still on and my makeup still looked good and I think this was what did it um I really like it I don't know if I like it more than the Urban Decay Up All Nighter that is my holy grail ride or die setting spray um but I really do like this I think this worked really well and if you guys want me to do um a tutorial on the makeup I did for the swimming waterproof makeup let me know and I'll do that because I mean we were in it was 103 degrees during the wedding outdoors and makeup was perfect and then of course we jumped into the pool hours later and swam it was amazing and makeup was still on eyeshadow perfect eyeliner perfect brows on bronze all that perfect so if you want a tutorial on that let me know and i'll definitely definitely do that for you okay only a few products left this is an oldie but a goodie i just repurchased it and it's in the new packaging which is really cute and this is the benefit give me brow and i have it in the latest shade it's got this cute little wand um if you have very well anybody can use this but i really like it because i have very sparse barely there brows and after i draw them in with a pencil or even the pomade pomade i'll go back over it with this and it just separates the hair and it has little fibers in it that cling to the little hairs you do have so it makes it look like your brows are fuller and more like fluffy and almost like you have brow hairs that you don't really have um i love this stuff definitely a favorite um, next is I rediscovered my Makeup Geek Gel Liner in Immortal and I don't know if this will focus because my camera has been being difficult with focusing lately but it's Immortal it's um, just basically a black gel liner this is what I wore for the wedding and actually put it on the bride too I did the bride's makeup and her makeup stayed on my makeup stayed on like I said this is the best if you want a gel liner that is going to last you all day and night and waterproof this is it you literally have to chisel this off your eyes and i use um like uh actually then my next favorite i've been using the greek yogurt three in one cleanser by Coors, and this is amazing this gets this off perfect it's very oil based or it's not oily I don't even know if it has oil in it but it's very um creamy and milky and it just melts all your makeup off and it gets this off really well i will lather that all over my face and then take um a cotton round or a tissue and just wipe it off and then go in and cleanse my face and it gets it off perfect but i've definitely been loving this this month i've had this for a while and i found it in 
like underneath my sink in my bin and I was like oh I forgot about this I love it so I've been using this to just remove the first layer of makeup before I go in with my cleanser and I've been loving it but again amazing eyeliner stays all day doesn't smudge doesn't transfer and is waterproof so definitely check this out and it's like I think it's only eight or nine dollars so it's drugstore price you can't go wrong with it definitely a fave okay two more products um my next product is the one again everybody's been talking about it and for good reason because it is bomb and it is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer of Mine's in Light Medium. I love it. I love the texture. I love the formula. I love the pigmentation. The smell. It makes me want to eat it. It smells like coconuts or a pina colada and it makes me want to be on a beach sipping a pina colada out of a coconut. Um, amazing. Just I haven't even touched my Urban Decay concealer. Um, <clears throat> I have kind of really dry, um, like creepy under eyes. I can get them very easy if I get dehydrated. Um, and this is very hydrating. Any other concealer I use, um, tends to, if I'm already dehydrated, make me look dehydrated. Like it kind of just looks creepy. Um, Urban Decay doesn't do it as much. This doesn't do it at all. I love this. Very hydrating. If you have dry under eyes, um, you know, aging skin, mature skin, you will love this. Absolutely adore it. Probably going to be my new Holy Grail concealer. Okay. And last but not least product, I meant to mention this in last month's favorite, but I forgot. And I've been using it all last month and this month, and I still have the protecting covering over it because I'm like that. But it is the Jaclyn Hill Becca Face Palette, the um, Champagne Glow Face Palette. Uh, I, I can't open it. Everybody and their mother has been talking about this palette, and for good reason. It's absolutely beautiful. I've been using mainly um, the Prosecco Pop here because I've had a tan. Sometimes I mix these two, and I've been using um, this blush right here. I forget what this is called. Uh, Amaretto. Um, which is this very neutral brownie toned um, blush absolutely been loving that I have it on today it's what I'm wearing not the highlighter I'm wearing it, this highlight um, since I want it to be like a unicorn today but um, I'll show you all that in a haul I'm gonna film but yeah definitely been loving this palette I know it was limited edition I hope you guys got your hands on it because it's amazing I do have an extra one though that I will eventually be doing a giveaway with so stay tuned for that and make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss that um, but yeah that is the end of my monthly favorites like I said I didn't really have a lot I've been using the same products from last month and all that goodness so yeah i hope you enjoyed this monthly favorites i hope you guys are having a great summer and making some awesome memories and like i said don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos from me in the future make sure you hit that like button if you liked what you saw and i love you guys and i'll see you again real soon Bye bye